Hello, everybody. Easy here. With Nether SX2, Nether Classic, and Nether 1.0 being split amongst different projects, I wanted to create an updated visual video guide on how to build your own copy of Nether SX2. Thanks to efforts by Trixarian, this process is now possible on a Windows PC with a batch file, along with being possible on a Linux terminal and a Termix terminal for Android through shell scripts. This also simplifies the process into being a one-click command on Windows. Nether SX2 also includes changes to GameDB, meaning small bug fixes that can address performance, custom game overlays for on-screen controls, and app signature fixes to remove Play Store warnings. For reference, I suggest you watch the Nether SX2 installation process for 1.0 that was previously covered in a separate video. Reference this for backing up your save data, setting up the app once installed, and front-end setup. The process to build Nether SX2 1.7 takes one minute to do on computers, and without further delay, let's get into the guide. The first option to building Nether SX2 on Windows is to use the builder.bat batch file, which can be found in the GitHub linked in the description. This one-click script will automatically download a copy of Aether SX2 from the Aether SX2 repository and patch it with modern Nether patches, all executed on the end user's device. Simply run this script and it will complete within seconds depending on your device speed. You will see a patched APK in the same folder as the builder bat we just ran. This is our copy of Nether SX2 1.7. We can now move this patched APK to our Android device and install Nether SX2 1.7 to it. Once we have the APK on our device, we are able to install it. This setup process is identical to the previous versions of Nether SX2 along with how installation worked on Aether SX2. I recommend referring to the previous setup guide, linked below. Another option to install Nether SX2 1.7 is to supply a copy of Aether SX2 4248 in the same folder as patch.bat or patch.sh and run the script. This will utilize the self-supplied vanilla APK and apply patches to it. This will result in a patched Nether SX2 APK, ready for installation and setup. Alternatively, if we do not have Windows, we can execute the patcher.sh to run the shell script in a Linux or Android terminal environment. For Linux, you should also right-click the shell script, allow executing file as program. This will result in the same patched APK. One alternative you can use to Nether SX2 is Nether SX Classic, being based off Aether SX 3668. The vanilla versions of Aether SX2 3668 and 4248 have different game performance, including some improvements to some titles and some regressions in others, so this allows the updates from Nether SX2 to be used in Aether SX2 3668, the final Play Store version from before advertisements. Nether SX2 Classic can be found on the GitHub repository in the description, and can be patched like the patcher method of Nether SX2 1.7. Once you have it downloaded, we are going to place our copy of Aether SX2 3668 in the same folder as patcher.bat, or patcher.sh, and run the script. This will result in a patched APK in the same folder as the script and this is our copy of Nether SX2 Classic. This can be transferred to an Android device and installed like normal at this point, simply using Nether SX2 based off 3668. To wrap things up, I want to reiterate that the older installation and setup guide video is still a helpful resource to answer a lot of your questions, such as app setup, front-end setup, BIOS questions, and more. You can find this video linked in the description below as well as information cards on screen in this video. Nether SX2 has been a labor of love that's gone through the hands of about a half dozen community members to produce now, and I want to thank you all for the continuous support over the last half year. Special thanks to Anon for creating the initial 1.0 patch, and to Arjo and Trixarian for their continued efforts in further testing the limits of what the community can do in reverse engineering Aether. And thank you, the user and community, for using and supporting this application. That's about all for this quick video. If you found this guide helpful, 
be sure to share it with some friends. Check out my other videos on this channel for more Nether SX2 and emulation related content. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this helpful, comment any thoughts you have, and ask any questions in the comments section below. Enjoy, and take care!